Number 77, letter A. Use the exact exponential treatment to find how much time is required to bring the current through an 80 milli Henry inductor in series with a 15 ohm resistor to 99% of its final value starting from zero. All right, so we got to find how much time is required. So we need to, and by the way, if it's starting at zero, we're going to use the growth form, okay, of this exponential. Um, so here, this is going to be like the current at some future point in time. Consider this is not the initial, because if this is just zero, then the whole thing works out to zero. You got to think of this as like the max current or the potential uh, current that could be obtained if the circuit were left on, you know, indefinitely. So this is going to be then one minus E raised to the negative elapsed time divided by the time constant. So what they told me is 99% of its final value, right? So assume that the final value of the current is going to be 100. So how much then would the current be at the future point in time if the current reaches 99% of the final? What's 99% of 100? Oh, it's 99. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So in other words, when I divide this on out, look, I get a proportion here, right? And what's 99 over 100, right? It's going to be 0.99. So you might say, well, Andrew, how are you using these numbers? These numbers aren't in the problem. They don't need to be in the problem. Because look, the 99% basically gets converted to 0.99. So I don't care if you used 1,000 here. The relationship, this would have been 990. 90, right? No, no. 990, okay? So you just got to be careful. So anyway, okay, but that will now equal this whole mumbo jumbo. So there's going to be one minus e to the negative now time uh, divided by the time constant, right? So the thing is we got to solve this for the elapsed time. Okay, now we, we've done this in the problem uh, prior. So check out number 76. I'm going to run through the math here. So the time constant we need to solve first. So actually, well, we don't technically, but we need to solve it at some point in time. Ha ha ha. Time constant here is going to be the inductance divided by the resistance, just the formula over here. So simply take the inductance of 80 milli henrys, but you know we need that in henrys, so take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. The resistance here was 15 ohms. We don't have to do anything to that. So just simply take then 80 times 10 to the minus 3 and divide it by then 15. And this will work out to be 5.3 repeating times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, that's the tau. So I'm going to erase it. I'm going to plug it in now. Okay, this is going to be 5.3 times 10 to the minus 3. All right, cool. I want to solve this for t, so I'm going to get rid of the, well, it depends. I think what I'm going to do, maybe I'll add, basically I'm going to add this term because I want to work with maybe positive numbers. It really doesn't matter. But uh, I'm going to add this term on over to the left-hand side. Then what I have to do is I have to subtract this term on over to the right, and you'll realize that the overall equation is going to work out to be exactly like this. I'm basically just switching them. So we can do the math here now, right? 1 minus 0.99 is what? 0 0.01. Now I need to then, this is the part where the other problem will come in handy. This is now, we have to take the natural log of both sides to get rid of the E. Okay, we've seen that now before. So the natural log here of this side, the natural log of this, so this is going to work out to be negative t over 5.3 repeating times 10 to the minus 3. And we plug in ln of 0 0.1, 0 0.01, excuse me, in the calculator. So ln of 0 0.01 works out to be negative now, 4.6. Notice the negatives will cancel, and we're left with now, and I'm just going to erase them, and we're going to be left with this equation now. So how do we solve for time? It's simple, just cross multiply. Cross multiply these two. So the time value here is going to be 5 point, uh, you know, 3 repeating times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied then by our 4.6. I'm using all exact answers. So times. All right. So here we get a value of about now 2.46 times 10 to the minus 2 seconds. So that's how much time it would take to achieve the 99% of the final value. All right, letter B, compare your answer with the approximate, nah, discuss how significant, nah, not really that important. So guys, thanks again for tuning in, appreciate it. I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.